Hi, this is Andrew with PandaComputers.com and welcome to our video series on Windows XP. This is a quick tip on how do we change your home page for your internet browser. Now I'm going to show you two different browsers. Well, what's a home page? A home page or start page is the page that your computer starts at every time you go on the internet. Some people like to have it start on news or a website or maybe Facebook or MySpace or whatever it is. I totally recommend you start at a page that is neutral. Now, it can be a news page, but don't get too wild with this, okay? This is where you run into problems. But the big question people have is, where do I change it? Where do I start that? I'm going to show you two quick ways with Internet Explorer, and then I'm going to show you quickly how to do it in Firefox. Now, first of all, when you pull up here, this is my home page. This is the basic Google page here. Okay, now how do I get to here? Well, I can go one of two ways. I can go over here, Tools, and I can go down to Internet Options, or I can go up here to Tools and go down to internet options as well okay here's my internet options the second way of course is to turn around and go into settings control panel and internet options is right up here so there's actually three ways you can get into there now once you get to here here's your home page now with windows internet 7 and 8 and of course the new 9 that's coming out which you can't use in XP, so we'll just stay with 8. This is your home page. I put in HTTP www.google.com. Now you can use this as your default, which I can just click right there and say default, which puts me back to Microsoft. Don't want to do that, okay? So I go in here and I type in HTTP colon slash slash www.google.com, okay? Now if I want more than one page to start, I can put another one in. So if I hit the enter key, see how it goes down a line? I can type in HTTP colon slash slash www dot say CNN dot com, which is a news one. And I go down here and I hit apply and I hit OK. Now what's going to happen is, is when my Internet Explorer starts, OK, it will start both those pages. Now watch. Hang on a second here. It's loading up and it's, and it's getting everything going on here and it's getting a little bit faster and there it goes. Now notice here, Google and then over here this page is another tab and it's starting CNN. So it'll start up and boom, if I click on CNN, there's my CNN and my news and here's my Google page. Now don't go wild on this. I've got a buddy of mine that has like 60 tabs. He saves them all and every time he closes his browser over here, okay, it's going to say close all tabs, always close the tabs, save them, whatever, close just the current one. Just simply say close them all and it's out. Turn it back open. It's going to come back up. Don't get wild on your tabs here. Two or three is fine, but understand, every time you open that up, that's more connections to the Internet. If you don't have a really powerful computer with lots of memory, you're in trouble. Okay? So that's how I changed the home page in Internet Explorer. I showed you three different ways to get to it. Either the tools over here or up here, and I changed the page. Now, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. If you want to remove one of those pages, you just take it out. Now, let me show you one more thing quickly before we change here. Uh, I'm getting a little scatterbrained on here. Maybe you run onto a web page you really like and you want to use it and you don't know how to type it all in or it has a big long URL. Okay? Let's just say you really love about something. So watch. Let me go in here. I'm going to type in. I'm going to type in. This is a computer parts company called Geeks. Geeks.com. Great. And say I just love their stuff. I buy their stuff all the time. I can go right over here. Go out of the way, Norton. To Tools. Go down to Internet Options. And I can choose Use Current. And what it'll do is Current will go in and it'll change and it'll make this current web page I'm on my new home page. Okay. Now there's one other option I can use and over here it's called Use Blank. Now what's Use Blank does now? It says about blank. I hit Apply and OK. And what happens is when I go to click on my little home to go to home page, that's what shows up. It's just blank. There's nothing there. And this confuses people sometimes. Am I on the internet? Am I doing anything? If you don't know what you're using, do not use about blank. Okay back over to tools, internet options, and we're going to go back over here, and I like just plain HTTP colon slash slash www.google.com. Now, www.google.com will work as well, okay? No problem. Apply, click OK, click my little home thing, I'm back to my home page and I'm done. This one's still up here because I haven't closed it. I'm going to go and close out of CNN, that's fine. This is my home page. If you have Firefox, how do I change it in Firefox? If you don't like Internet Explorer, Let's double click on Mozilla Firefox here. We'll wait for it to come up. It's very similar. It's only done in one way. Since this is not a Microsoft program, there's no other shortcuts. Now, I haven't used it yet, so it says, do you want me to import everything or whatever it is? I'm going to say, do not import for now. Click Next, and it's just going to open my program. 
Now, they're going to have their own start page starting at where they want, in their version. Firefox is owned by Google. They bought them up a couple of years ago, okay, and they bought up Mozilla. Now, the first thing that's going to pop up, and it's going to ask you this, is do you want this to be always your default? If you do, sit, click yes. If you don't, then don't. Now, we talked about default browser and email in another video. You can watch that one. I do not want it my default, so I'm taking the check mark out, and I'm going to click no. Come up here and maximize my window. And this is where it's starting is in Firefox, and it, see it starts two tabs. If I go up here to Tools and down to Options, just like I did before, when Firefox starts, show my home page. Now, you have options here. Show a blank page, shows Windows tabs from the last time I opened my computer. You can change these functions. Usually, it's a home page. And then here's this big, long, blah, 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 Mozilla. All you have to do is delete all that. Okay http colon slash slash www.google.com click OK click my little home up here to take me to my home page and there you go Google is now my home page for Firefox if I wanted to be CNN I change it to CNN if I wanted to start multiple pages it's a little different in here we'll talk about that when we talk about Firefox this is Andrew with Panda Computers how do I change my home page on my internet browser it's that simple have a great day